This is shocking. Right now, an interstellar visitor, 3i Atlas, is breaking every rule we thought we knew about comets. It is growing, swelling, and brightening at a pace so bizarre that astronomers across the world are scrambling to keep up. What began as a faint speck in early July has now transformed into a giant green lantern, its cloud of dust and gas expanding until it dwarfs planets. And with every passing day, this alien object races closer to the sun, accelerating, flaring, and doing things no comet should be able to do. Let's dive into the hard facts first. 3i Atlas was discovered on July 1, 2025, by the Atlas Survey in Chile. From the moment it was identified, one fact stood out. It was not from here. Its orbit is hyperbolic, tilted almost 175 to grind backwards compared to the planets, meaning it is an interstellar object. This is only the third one ever seen, after Oumuamua in 2017 and 2i Borisov in 2019. Right now, it sits about two astronomical units from the Sun. That's about 186 million miles away, and it is moving fast. Its current velocity, nearly 135,000 miles per hour, or 60 kilometers per second. By the time it swings in closest to the sun on October 29th, 2025, its speed will peak near 152,000 miles per hour. At that pace, it could fly from Earth to the moon in just a little over an hour. Now here's the part that's making scientists uneasy. Its brightness. When it was first spotted, 3i Atlas was barely magnitude 18, an invisible ghost to anyone without a powerful telescope. But week after week it has surged, magnitude 16, then 14, then 12, and climbing still. For reference, under perfect dark skies, the naked human eye can see down to magnitude 6. So right now you still need a decent telescope to glimpse it. But the pace of this brightening is the real alarm. This thing is outshining every prediction. Why? The answer is hidden inside its coma, the vast cloud of dust, vapor, and plasma enveloping the solid core. Recent measurements suggest its coma now stretches nearly 500,000 miles across. That's wider than the planet Jupiter. Think about that. A dirty snowball may be only one or two miles wide, cloaked inside a glowing green atmosphere half a million miles across. And this coma is not stable. It's swelling, pulsing, alive. Every time the coma expands, it scatters more sunlight, making the comet appear brighter, even if the nucleus itself stays hidden. It's like watching a small ember surrounded by an ever-expanding fireball. And then came September. That's when 3i Atlas defied every model. Astronomers track comets by their light curves, predictions of how they should brighten as they approach the sun. 3i Atlas's light curve didn't just rise gently, it spiked violently upward. Observatories across Earth confirmed it. This was no ordinary outburst. Something inside was fueling a runaway glow. One camp argues sunlight is hitting deposits of exotic ices, carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide, that sublimate explosively at much greater distances than water ice. Another group suggests plasma interactions. The solar wind is hammering the coma, stripping dust and gas in violent jets. But others whisper stranger ideas that perhaps its nucleus is fractured, porous, or hiding compositions alien to anything we've ever seen. And then came the second blow. Just as it grew more active, Earth's chance to observe it began to fade. With every passing day, 3i Atlas sinks closer to the sun's glare. By October 21st, its elongation, the angle separating it from the sun, drops below 30 degrees. At that point, the comet is swallowed by twilight. For telescopes on Earth, that's the end, the conjunction blackout. For weeks, maybe months, we'll be blind. No spectra, no light curves, no way to track changes. And this blackout comes at the worst possible time, right when 3i Atlas is heating up and showing its wildest behavior. But while Earth goes dark, one planet will still have the best seat in the house, Mars. On October 3rd, 2025, 3i Atlas will sweep within just 18 million miles of Mars, close enough for orbiters circling the red planet to turn their instruments on it. Think about that. While Earth's telescopes go blind, spacecraft like MAVEN, Mars Express, Trace Gas Orbiter, and Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter will be able to watch every flare, every jet, every pulse of plasma. MAVEN, designed to study Mars's atmosphere, can tune its ultraviolet sensors to catch cometary gas. 
Mars Express carries a high-resolution stereo camera, perfect for imaging the coma. The trace gas orbiter can sniff out CO2, methane, cyanogen, or exotic volatiles. And the sharp-eyed high-rise camera on MRO might even resolve the nucleus if the geometry is right. In other words, Mars is about to become humanity's lookout station for an alien comet. And what exactly will it see? Already, 3 i Atlas glows an eerie emerald green, a light produced when diatomic carbon molecules, C2, are slammed by sunlight. The glow is so vivid it looks like a radioactive beacon, visible even across hundreds of millions of miles. Some spectra hint at cyanogen, CN, and ionized carbon monoxide, CO+, adding bluish hues. Together, they create an unearthly color, like a neon flame burning in the void. But perhaps the most bizarre feature of all, 3 i Atlas seems to be growing an anti-tail. Normally, comet tails stream away from the sun, swept outward by radiation pressure. But 3 i Atlas, moving so fast and interacting so violently with the solar wind, appears to project a faint spike pointing back toward the sun. Plasma physicists believe this happens when large charged dust grains get trapped in electromagnetic currents and stream forward relative to our viewpoint. From Earth, the result is eerie, a comet pulling something back toward the sun against everything we expect. It is rare, it is strange, and in an interstellar comet it is unprecedented. So where does that leave us? We have an object from another star system, swelling into a Jupiter-sized bubble, glowing neon green, developing an anti-tail, brightening six times faster than predicted, and heading for the sun at over 150,000 percep. Compare this to the first two interstellar visitors. Oumuamua was a silent shard, no tail, no coma, just a tumbling object slipping away. 2i Borisov looked like a classic comet with a blue coma and predictable behavior. But 3i Atlas, it's a monster, alien in its chemistry, erratic in its physics, and dazzling in its spectacle. The question now is chilling. Will it blaze into naked eye brilliance by late October, rivaling Venus as a green star in the dusk sky? Or will it break apart in a catastrophic outburst, collapsing into dust before we ever see its peak? No one knows, but the clock is ticking. Earth will lose sight within weeks. Mars is our only hope to keep watch. And the comet itself? It is racing ever closer, bigger, brighter, stranger, and far more unpredictable than anything we've ever seen before. And that sets the stage for part two. The countdown has begun. On October 29, 2025, 3 i Atlas will reach perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun, at a distance of 1.36 astronomical units, about 126 million miles away. By then, its velocity will peak at nearly 152,000 miles per hour. That's twice as fast as Mercury orbits the Sun. At those speeds, the comet will face forces so extreme that many astronomers aren't sure it will survive. The danger lies in what happens when its nucleus, probably no more than a mile or two across, is suddenly blasted by full solar radiation. The green coma we see now, already half a million miles wide, could erupt into something colossal, a bubble of plasma and dust rivaling the diameter of the sun itself. But there's another possibility. The heat could tear the nucleus apart. We've seen this before. In 2013, Comet Eson, once called the Comet of the Century, plunged too close to the sun. It brightened dramatically, looked set to outshine Venus, then suddenly disintegrated into dust. One moment, it was a cosmic spectacle. The next, it was gone forever. Will 3 i Atlas follow Ison's fate? Or will it hold together like Borisov, sailing past perihelion battered but intact? No one knows. What we do know is that the days before and after perihelion will be the most dangerous and the most spectacular. As Earth enters the conjunction blackout on October 21st, we lose direct vision. For weeks, 3 i Atlas will be too close to the sun's glare to observe. It's like watching a rocket vanish into a blinding fireball. During that window, anything could happen. Outbursts, fragmentation, even complete destruction. And we won't know until Mars tells us. NASA's MAVEN spacecraft can track ultraviolet emissions, especially from carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide jets. The European Trace Gas Orbiter can sniff out exotic volatiles. Mars Express can capture chemical fingerprints. If any spacecraft can see the moment 3i Atlas cracks open or flares into a super bright beacon, it's them. But let's speculate boldly. If 3i Atlas survives perihelion intact, some astronomers say its brightness could surge to magnitude 7 or even 6. 
just on the edge of naked eye visibility under dark skies. Imagine a green ghost star glowing near sunset, faint but unmistakable, hanging low in the west. For many, it would be the first time in history they've seen an interstellar object with their own eyes. But if it fragments, the show could be even wilder. Pieces of the nucleus, each spewing gas and dust, could create multiple comae and tails, like a shattered emerald scattering across the solar system. For days, maybe weeks, it could flare unpredictably, pulsing brighter and dimmer as fragments tumble and vaporize. And then, the fade. Most models agree. After perihelion, 3i Atlas will lose brightness fast. Its coma will shrink. Its tail will thin. Within weeks, it may drop back to magnitude 12 or 13 back into the domain of telescopes only. By December, when it passes closest to Earth at 167 million miles, it may be little more than a smudge of dust against the stars. But even that fading carries meaning. Every dust particle drifting away is a sample of another star system, a piece of alien chemistry unraveling in our skies. And that chemistry is already rewriting science. Polarimetry studies from the Very Large Telescope have shown extreme negative polarization, unlike any comet in our solar system. That suggests its surface is coated with exotic mixtures, icy grains, dark organic dust, maybe compounds forged in the outer disk of another star. JWST data hints at a CO2-rich composition far more abundant than water, marking it as a body born in a much colder environment than our Kuiper belt. In other words, 3i Atlas is not just a comet, it is a messenger from another world. And then there's the plasma question. As its coma expands, the comet becomes an obstacle in the solar wind. NASA's MAVEN and S's TGO could see bow shocks, magnetic draping, and plasma tails unlike anything we've studied before. Some predict ion disconnection events, where a solar storm literally slices the comet's tail off in real time. Imagine a comet with its tail ripped away by a coronal mass ejection, then regrowing it days later like a cosmic lizard's limb. That could happen to 3i Atlas, and if it does, we'll witness plasma physics on a galactic scale. So let's step back. Oumuamua passed quietly, leaving us only questions. Borisov gave us the first look at an interstellar comet, but it was familiar. Blue coma. Predictable tail. 3i Atlas is something else. A green giant. A volatile engine. A mystery wrapped in plasma and ice. It's already confounding our models. Its light curve has spiked erratically. Its coma is enormous. Its chemistry is alien. Its polarization is extreme. And its future, blazing spectacle or catastrophic breakup, remains unknown. But whatever happens, 3i Atlas has already changed us. It reminds us that the galaxy is alive with wanderers, that fragments of other worlds can and do slip into our system, carrying alien signatures, challenging our physics, daring us to watch. And now, as it races toward the sun, we wait. Will 3i Atlas blaze as a naked eye emerald star? Will it disintegrate in silence? Or will it do something no one has yet imagined? We will know soon. Until then, keep your eyes on the sky, follow every update, and remember, you're living in the rare moment when an object from another star burns across our solar system. If you enjoyed this journey into the unknown, please like this video, subscribe to Starlight Mysteries, and tell us in the comments where you're watching from. Together, we're not just observers. We are a global community, witnessing the universe write its next chapter. The story of 3i Atlas is not finished, but one thing is certain. The cosmos is far stranger, brighter, and more unpredictable than we ever dared to believe.